Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com, and today we're doing a review of the Lenovo Y500. This is Lenovo's uh, IdeaPad gaming laptop, and it's got a very nice build. It's got, you can see, it's a little fingerprint friendly, but this nice brushed uh, full aluminum uh, surface. And we're gonna look at some of the things on the side. In the front, though, I don't know if you guys can see that clearly. There we go. We do have some LED indicators, battery graphic card all that stuff here SD card here and on the left hand side I'm going to disconnect the battery for a second here we do have two USB 3.0 ports HDMI out your Ethernet uh, VGA and of course exhaust vent power port is right there on the right uh, this bad boy has um, a USB um, constant charge headphone mic and of course, this is your Ultra Bay. Now, this is very unique, which we'll, we'll show you in a sec. Um, this allows you to swap out either a graphics card, hard drive, um, a, a, a additional hard drive, or um, a DVD drive or Blu-ray drive. Now, I have an extra uh, graphics card here. Of course, you do have your battery pack in the back, and um, this runs Windows 8, so definitely open it up. And if you're looking for the power brick, it's right there. Yeah, it's pretty big next to the Wii U control. But anyway, um, this is a gaming laptop now. They say three hour battery life and it's pretty much that, which is why I have the cord here. But this is a portable gaming laptop now. In terms of specs, what do we have here? So we're gonna open this up. See, you've got a full um, lid on keyboard here. Let's just open that. And uh, you can see it's all lit. Um, actually, it's always lit when you turn off. We've got some JBL speakers on the side here. Uh, now, in terms of specs, let's go in. I can move onto the screen here for you guys, just to give you guys a better idea and show you what we have on, on screen for specs, which will state. So you've got a quad core i7-3068M. Um, you've got 16 gigs of memory in this build. Now, you can have up to 16 gigs maximum in here. Now, this is also running an SLI configuration. As you can see, it's showing the dual graphics card, SLI physics. This is an SLI 650M. So, in terms of this, if you were to buy this laptop right now, you can get a max configuration of an i7 uh, quad core. You can get um, 16 gigs of memory, you can also get a GT 750M. Now this unit here, right before release was with the 650M and it says 650M and video there. Let's just go in a little bit more, give you guys a better idea. It says 650M, it's actually a GT 750M on the website. Pricing for the Y500 starts at $799 and goes up to $1,400. But the, this unit right now, pretty much what I have here with me, is priced at um, $1,149. So you can get this with 16 gigs of RAM, um, SLI uh, configuration um, for $1,400. I mean, for no less than $1,149. $1, I apologize for that. So now let's take a look at the Ultra. Now, to access the Ultra Bay, first thing you need to do is remove the battery so you of course want to pull that and slide the battery out then you've got this other little button thing here which you pull down and then I actually have to do it the other way because I need to pull it with my right hand hopefully I can do this properly for you guys on camera it's a little finicky actually I have to tell the truth to get out it's not as easy to see and there you have it kind of have to pull out so this is a graphics card this is my GT, uh, this is a GT650, but it would be a GT750M. So this is my other graphics card here. And I've been playing Bioshock, so this is kind of warm. And it does run warm too, a little bit. But um, this is your uh, other graphics card you can get. You can change this out and swap in this bay, put a DVD drive, Blu-ray Blu drive. I keep saying DVD, I don't know why. You can put a Blu-ray drive in here. You can put a hard drive up to one terabyte. Um, and those have different prices under the hard drive. The prices would be up to 189 extra added. But with most gamers, of course, you definitely want the SLI configuration to actually do some solid gaming on this thing. So um, let's go ahead and pop this back. And you can see, of course, it's got the serial ATA ports just to plug it in. And always remember the part with the lip here is always on the bottom side. And it's quite easy and slide it back in. And that's how you get an SLI configuration on a um, laptop. 
Uh, now the other thing to note now it's it is bulky but it is not that heavy uh, in comparison this only probably weighs around um, it, it's about six pounds they say it will probably feels like about 5.5 pounds you know uh, slightly just below six which is cool it's a very very um, in terms of gaming laptops I, I think it's light and I actually you know I've, I've thought about just traveling with this because it's it's got some some nice uh, weight balance to it. So let's go ahead and restart the stuff up and uh, do some gaming. And we'll just do some off-screen show of Bioshock, just me playing with it, and I'll show you how this goes. I'm not doing too well in this gameplay session. All right, there you have it, guys. That is some gameplay video. So why don't we round this up? I know I was terrible, but you can see how smooth that ran. So let's finish up the show. So I, as you've seen, I've used the Lenovo Y500 for a while. I really like this gaming laptop. Now, they say it weighs about six pounds. I say it's about slightly less than six, maybe 5.9. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like six pounds anyway. Uh, you've got this gorgeous display, it's 15 inches. It's not a touchscreen display, but it does work out very well. So I'm just gonna close that down. Uh, the keyboard is always backlit, as you've seen, um, and which is nice, so it's always on. Um, again, uh, pricing starts at uh, 849 for Lenovo and uh, right now my rig or this rig I have with me uh, is an iCore a core 7 16 gigs of RAM um, I do have uh, a, an SL, SLI setup here this is the 650M but if you're buying it now you're gonna be getting the 750M but which is pretty cool again you saw earlier in the video where I added the extra uh, graphics card here and I do have a dual graphics card setup and I saw me playing some Bioshock there even though I was downright terrible while gaming but the fact that I could get such nice graphics and play it quite intensely with this is very very good it's a solid laptop you've got great sound with here doesn't runs a little bit warm but not hot so that's that's one thing the, the main downside of course is as with most gaming laptop is the battery life this will only last you for about in in my test case scenario is about three and a half hours they say three hours to three and a half so I got a little more but it's not going to last you for anything more so you do have to carry the battery brick with you i wish they do it would improve that but you've got usb ports you've got um two on this side again another one here on this side so three hdmi out so um it's very nice I, I i give this i give this a um a very very solid buy i would say definite but very solid just because um if you're really looking for a gaming laptop and not trying to spend a lot of money i think this is something to get plus the fact that you can also add an extra graphics card 
goes a long way for setting up an SLI configuration on your, uh, for you, you, for you as a game on the go. Uh, the trackpad itself here, um, it's a great trackpad. I don't use trackpads to play any game, so um, I didn't use it that much for game. I did try it, but it did work well. I still used uh, a gaming mouse anyway. But the trackpad it was great, especially in just browsing the web. The uh, Windows multifunctional controls actually worked out very well, and I could actually you know use it so it's something that um, was very nice overall i do like it gave me great sound uh great gaming performance and i will recommend this uh so this is the lenovo y500 and uh yeah if you guys have any questions or any comments let us know otherwise uh don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on twitter facebook and youtube it's all border work with 2.0 so this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment